Hey, this is Jerome from DiffBot. Let's check out news on Lead Graph. And there are two searches that I want to make today. So let's just get started off the bat. First thing is an M&A signal search. And this is going to track news that have anything to do with M&A and financial movements with a list of target companies. So I'm going to first generate my list of target companies. I've actually already got that. So I'm going to find that list here. We're going to just, it's just called Salesforce Opportunities. And under categories, we're going to look for M&A. And then just, just because it's somewhat related as well, I'll cover funding and private equity as well. And immediately you can see it's running these searches as you click them on the left hand, as you click on the filters in the left hand panel. And they're pretty, pretty good. So you can see already a couple of these. Um, this, some of them are repeated. That's a good sign. Uh, we do dupe quite a few of these article headlines as we can. Uh, but you can use these as signals for your next little M&A news monitoring system. All right, so that's number one. Number two, let's try that again. We're going to look for something a little less specific uh, and actually cover a sort of a data breach type news monitoring. So it's maybe something more on the risk side of things. So as you can see, I've already tried this over here, but let's try it again from scratch. I'm going to look for keywords this time. So breach, data breach. And we'll go with that. By default, as you can already see, it's searching for English articles and articles in the last 90 days. Uh, so you can keep that in mind if you'd like to extend the timeline out. There's a lot of historicals in the DiffBot Knowledge Graph. You absolutely can. But looking at this right now, we can see some of the more breaking news. If we just sort it by date, you see these are the breaking news that has to do with um, a hacking breach, data breach type risk signal. Um, so you can absolutely read through these and build your own sort of news monitoring pipeline from this. And of course, all of these signals are actually completely achievable via API. This is all from the DiffBot Knowledge Graph. So reach out to us if you have any questions on how to do this. Thanks.